How's it going everyone? I'm Dono and this is How To Happy. In this video we're going to be talking about scarcity versus abundance mindset. So if you're unfamiliar with this term, basically what it means is just talking about the number of opportunities out in the world. So if you have a scarcity mindset, you might be thinking in terms of, okay, there's this job promotion opening and if I don't get it, then I'm never going to have another opportunity like this again. And if my friend gets it, he gets it at my expense. So I absolutely have to get this. An abundance mindset, if we're talking about this same promotion opportunity, is a little bit more like, oh wow, there's a good opportunity here, I really want it, I'm gonna do my best to get it, but if I don't, there's gonna be other opportunities out in the world. And if my friend gets it, then that's great for him and I will find another opportunity that works out for me. The reason to develop an abundance mindset is that it helps you move through things a lot faster, right? So. For example, if an opportunity comes up, then you know that there's other opportunities that are going to be out there. And if someone gets something, you know that it's not at your expense, right? That it's not this zero sum game where someone wins and someone loses. You're continually looking for different pathways to get value because you know that there's enough out there for everyone and that the opportunities will just continue coming as long as we continue working at them creatively. Now, maybe you miss out on that specific opportunity, but when you're in an abundance mindset, there's going to be more opportunities and that's just a belief, a way that you look at the world. Now, the nice thing about having an abundance mindset is that it helps you dissolve negative feelings a lot more quickly. So if we go back to the job example that we were talking about, right? If you don't get the job and you have a scarcity mindset, then you're really going to be frustrated because that's the job that you wanted and an opportunity like that is never going to come up. So really, what can you do besides pout around about it? But if you have an abundance mindset, once that job you know, is given out to somebody else, yes, you're still gonna be frustrated, but the time frame is gonna be much shorter because you're gonna realize, okay, well, I didn't get that, I'm moving on, what other opportunities are out there? Because I know there's plenty of opportunities, I just have to continue looking for them. This specific one didn't work out, but I can keep working towards it. Another quick example, like for dating, right? So if you go out on a date and it doesn't go that well, if you're in a scarcity mindset, you might start freaking out and say, oh, this is the person that I really like, this is the person that I was supposed to be with and it didn't work out and I'm never gonna be able to figure this out. But if you're in an abundance mindset, you're gonna realize, okay, there's billions of people on the planet. I went out on this one date, it didn't go that well, but it's not a big deal because there's so many other options for me to pick from. I'll just look for someone else. Another part of developing an abundance mindset is realizing that when someone else gets something, it's not necessarily at your expense, right? So same type of thing if we go back to dating, like if you were dating someone and they ended up going with someone else instead, instead of saying, oh wow, they took this person from me, yada, 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 with an abundance mindset, you can frame it as, okay, that pairing happened to work out better for whatever reason, there are so many more options for me to go and pursue. The more that you develop an abundance mindset, the more quickly you're able to go through different iterations and start looking for opportunities once other opportunities are no longer available. So let's talk about how we can start developing an abundance mindset. One thing that you can do is when you see an opportunity, try to think about other opportunities that are similar or that fill up the same you know, ecosystem. So for example, if we go back to the job opening, right? You think, okay, this job opening is here and I wanna take that and that'd be awesome. But you can also think in terms of, okay, what other job opportunities are like that? There must be a ton of other jobs out there that are similar to this or that could fill my needs or provide me an equivalent amount of happiness in a similar way. So just start brainstorming and looking for these other opportunities. Even if you're gonna chase the one that you really want, you can develop your abundance mindset by at least thinking and possibly looking at some of the other opportunities that are out there. Now, having an abundance mindset isn't about, you know, tricking you into not trying as hard, right? And just saying, well, I didn't get this one. I guess the next one will come around. I didn't get this one. I guess the next one will come around. And so you can just be lazy and not really get anything done. More so what it's about is looking at the whole world of opportunities that exist. There may be times where there's only one specific opportunity of a certain type and for whatever reason it doesn't work out for you and you can never do that specific opportunity. But 
in the whole grand scheme of the size of the world, there's going to be lots and lots of really good opportunities, lots and lots of ways to get value. Even if someone else has the thing that you thought that you wanted, there's so many options out there that if you just are a little bit creative and flexible, you're going to be able to find things that provide you an equivalent amount of happiness. So if you can divorce your mindset a little bit from individual opportunities and focus more so on just the broad set of opportunities out in the world, at least as far as not being able to get one specific thing goes, you're going to be able to get happier faster once you face these setbacks as well as focus on things you can actually control and start making progress. So let's move on to the exercise section. One, think of an upcoming opportunity. Now think of other opportunities of the same type. How many can you come up with? Two, brainstorm some ways you can search for additional opportunities if yours doesn't pan out. So for example, if you want a certain job, how can you find other jobs similar to it that will also be good opportunities for you? So again, like I was saying, having an abundance mindset just helps you by getting through opportunities a little bit more quickly, making you feel a little bit better because you know that there's going to be more things out there that you can really sink your teeth into and still get positive results. That's all I've got for this video. As always, if you have any questions, comments, topics you want me to cover, throw them down in the box below and I will see you next time. You can check out more content at howtohappy.com. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you can stay up to date on the videos. We've also got a Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook that you can check out. Reflect, take action, and enjoy life. See you next time.